Hi guys, it's Ita with Ita Thoughts, and we're here uh, playing around with some Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and some acrylic paints, doing a little mixed media project. Let's see uh, what we come up with. Um, I've been working on this project here, you see, uh, for the past hour, hour and a half, while I've been watching some uh, Ustream channels. I've watched Lee Moore. Uh, work on a mixed media uh, project she was working on and I got inspired to uh, just broadcast a video of my own it's been a while so I'm a little bit rusty with uh, the way things go here so let's see what we come up with um, the background here that I used uh, is this old um, old school um, photo albums that come with the three ring binders and they come with this sticky um, paper here to stick your pictures on and I've had one just sitting there in my <clears throat> in my uh, stash there for a while and <clears throat> I've just I don't know decided to pull it out and work with what I have and see what I come up with so I'll be making I think two or three different projects using these films um, these sheets here from the vintage uh, old school scrapbooks uh, so I cut it down here I cut it down to size and I'm gonna be using it um, this way and I love it because it has the holes already punched for me so I can just add like ribbon or um, I don't know, some kind of jump ring to it and use it as a wall art. Um, can do a lot of fun stuff with it. So um, this is what I came up with first. And the only thing I used for texture here, I would say, is the, um, the tape. I used tape and that's about it. The image you see here is uh, originally from a stamp. And... I love buying stamps and the reason why I love buying stamps is because I can stamp an image on a cart on a piece of paper and put it through my scanner and alter the, the image. What I mean by alter is I mean uh, I get to resize it. You know, the original stamp was not very big and through the scanner and the software I have on my computer I am able to enlarge the stamped images so I can um, make the stamp image as big or as small as I need it to be for whatever project I'm working on and that is just a total totally awesome um, so I got this image I printed on regular cardstock and um, I adhered it with uh, gel medium. The gel medium I use is the Studio uh, Multi Medium in Mate. And I also am going to use the Studio Gesso. Um, and these are from Claudine Hellman. Uh, I'm going to use those and I'm going to use several of Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. This color is, um, is a turquoise color. I love this one. This is my, my favorite right now. Um, and it's a purple plum. And this one is California Poppy Gold. And another one of my favorite is uh, Tears on My Pillow Tangerine. I love this color. Um, and I will also be using Blazing Sun. Um, so those are the Lindy Stamp Gang sprays that I, I'll be using. Um, some glossy accents. And I really love using this um, One Step Crackle from DecoArt. One, because it's economical. It's like a dollar something at Michael's. And two, because um, it gives texture, great texture, um, 
to wh whatever image I, I put it on. Like, I put it on these flowers here. I don't know if you can see the texture. When I, when I use my heat gun on it, it bubbles and it gives it a really cool uh, texture. And the background I did with Lindy Stamp Gangs uh, sprays. And I used a stencil that I purchased at Saw Crafters. She has some really cool uh, stencils there. And I was a bad girl. I didn't wash mine off. So I'm, I need to soak it in water. Uh, for a little bit so that the acrylic paint and the sprays come off um, but uh, to me it doesn't really matter uh, because I use it for mixed media so it gives it you know if a, if it alters the color or whatever I'm using at the moment that's fine with me because you know it's creative opportunities um, so anyhow I I created the background by spraying with Lindy Stamp Gangs and then I just came with um, some art, uh, folk art acrylic paint in white and just kinda you know with my finger rubbed it on a few stuff used my stencil and uh, with the gesso I, I used it on my stencil here to create the chicken wire here and I think that's about it and I just need to put a saying here and let's see what I come up with um, but anyhow I'm gonna do another um, project using the same techniques that I did for this one and by the way um, I'm working on a on a just white cotton fabric that I purchased really cheap like a dollar for yard or whatnot and I like using this um, as opposed to like a craft sheet or anything like that because I can then play with already sprayed fabric and then I can make you know uh, little pouches or whatnot out of it so it, it get it you know it's like a two-for-one type of thing here and I don't waste no ink at all because I'm gonna use um, this, the big sheet of fabric that I have here so it you know it protects my my surface it does what it needs to do it's folded in four so it, it doesn't really go through um, and I might be using this little scratch uh, piece of uh, tissue paper that I have here uh, maybe to give it some texture to my background and I have a you know little scrap piece of vintage lace here. Got a, you know a scrap piece of ribbon here. Uh, what else do I have at hand? Um, have some uh, stamp images here that I might use. I don't know who they're from. I have the bad habit of taking the packaging and just disposing of it. Um, and it has these really cool stamps. It says always imagine, grin, love down here. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what I work with at the moment. Um, I think that's about it for that. I also have this um little prima stamp that I just I just got that I might use also <clears throat> this one has a little bird um, and the item number for this stamp is five 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 zero three zero five 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 zero three zero it's from Prima and um, I have this stencil also that I purchased from Saw Crafters she has a YouTube channel where she does really great tutorials and um, she also has um, I think a link there to her store she has really cool stencils really economical like for a dollar two dollars really cool okay so um let's see 
let's see what happens here. I have my heat gun ready. This is the way cool image that I got. Um, this stamp I purchased um, from Stampington Company. Um, I don't know the name of the stamp. I don't have it here with me. Um, but if anybody wants to know, just uh, leave me a comment and I'll be more than glad to get it for you and get you a link to the website also. You have an online store. Really, really cool mixed media stuff you get there. Um, they have uh, all kinds of mediums. They have paint, spray, stamps, paper, altered, um, alterable, um, stuff like trays and they have wire uh, like designs and stuff out of wire it's a really really cool uh, store to shop at um, but anyhow here's my sheet I just peeled back the clear backing that it comes with and this also if you don't want to take it off if you're gonna have like a flat um, um, art project with no like uh, like flowers and stuff like that added to it this serves as a, a protect protector for your image also so that's like really cool also about this I haven't really seen anybody use these kinds of sheets before so I'm not really sure um, if there's any videos out there this is this is what I was thinking of when I saw it. Anyhow, um, in her hair she has a lot of flowers and leaves on her body part here also. Very beautiful image. Um, a lot of roses, and it printed like this because I didn't um, I didn't stamp my image um, good. So it didn't fill in a lot of it. Um, that's okay. I can work with it. Okay, so I'll be using pinks and stuff like that for the hair and green. So I'll make the background like shades of yellow. I'll be using California Poppy Gold. And all you have to do is kind of spray it. And let's add some. Alpine Ice Rose. Please excuse my fingers, guys. They're so dirty. And I won't put too much because I do want to use this tissue paper. And what the tissue paper does is it um becomes translucent the white part's going to become translucent so whatever color i have on the bottom that's the color that's going to come off through the white parts so i'm not going to dry it too much just kind of turn it over and dab it on my sheet here perfect okay Make sure it's not too wet. And the fun part is that it has these lines. The texture of the paper has these lines through it. So it gives it a really cool effect. And um, it's sticky, so whatever I put on it, it sticks to it. So it's really awesome, really fun. Okay, what you can see, oops, sorry, you can see the shimmer, the stripes that it that the, the texture has, the paper has the texture of stripes, really cool. So, 
with my uh, Studio Multimedia gel. I am going to apply it with my little spatula here. It's just a little dirty. Go into it like this. Just put globs of it here. I'm going to do this really fast because I don't want the, the paint smudge. So you can also use Mod Podge or any clear drying glue, um, white glue, school glue. That's all good for this kinds of, um, of projects. Just kind of. Add a crease. Just kind of stick it on there. And I don't mind that it's wrinkled. It's just going to give it added texture. And then I'll just go over it again with some multimedia here. Now, I don't know if you can see, but the white part of it automatically became translucent. And the colors I sprayed the background on before are popping out. And I love, love, love that. Love it. And rip it off. I don't even know if you guys can hear me or not. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, so let's try this really quick. So you want to add more. Now, once the glue dries, then um, I can just go ahead and cut around it. But right now, I'm just going to leave it. It doesn't bother me right now too much. Ooh, I love that. That is looking so pretty. And I think I want to put this somewhere like up here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's glue it down.
going to saturate the fabric in it. I love using my fingers, guys. <laughs> and I wanted this piece there. Now I'm not sure if the flowers are gonna the flowers on the printed image if they are gonna um if the paper the cardstock the plain white everyday copy paper I printed it on I don't know if it's gonna um become translucent once I add the the glue so if it does great if it doesn't that's just great also Okay, so I'm loving the way this is coming out. Okay, so there we have there we have that and I also wanted to use some of this mesh ribbon I have here. Let me get my scissors. Now what this is going to do is it's just going to give it texture when I add more um, spray to it. It's going to give it texture. It's going to look cool. Just randomly putting it on. I love watching these Ustream channels. Um, there's a lot of crafty, talented people out there. They're so inspiring, so talented. So many different people, different styles. It's awesome. I love it. And I watch them and I absorb it. Everything is a fun. So now I'm just going to dry it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to get my, my gesso, and go over some of those things I just um, adhered with the glue.
Okay. I think I want to add more color. Let's add some Tibetan pop poppy teal. I don't like shaking them up and down. I shake them to the side to prevent those powders from clogging the spray. I'm going to go back and add some more California poppies and Alpine Ice Rose. Now instead of drying it, I'm just going to flip it over here, my fabric. I don't know if you guys can see how absorbs in the fabric uh, the sprays eventually every single inch of it is going to be covered in a rainbow of sprays um, okay so it's kind of wet still Trim off the excess paper here. I want to add my image. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to get my trusted multimedia again. Okay, 
and spread it around. The thing I like about mixed media is that it doesn't matter how messy you get. And trust me, you get messy. Proof that you get messy. Dirty fingers. Too bad I don't have any wipes handy here. sure everything is glued down. Okay. Make sure. I'm trying to get it clean. Hold on guys, I have to go wash my hands. out there. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> not fully clean almost. <laughs> this wouldn't wash off. Let's listen to some music while we crack here. <coughs> 
This is Jason Mars. <clears throat> Now I'm just going to add the multimedia on top of my image and this is going to uh, be like a protective layer as you can see it's smudging doesn't matter um, just don't uh, don't rub too hard and this will protect your paper from ripping or Pairing while you're coloring it or anything like that. So that's why I'm doing that. This would come on. Okay. I love crafting with music. It just makes the time go by so much faster. I like music general. Food for the soul. Okay. So, now for every layer of color that I add onto here, I'm gonna add multimedia on top of it. Um, and that's to prevent it from smudging or um, watering down really bad when I keep adding more and more colors. So, here we go. Now, I don't think I'm going to color the whole image. I think I'm just going to make some of the flowers in her hair pop out, the flowers on her shoulders. I'll pop it out. Now, if we look at this one, um, the Lindy Stump Gang sprays look like watercolors, don't they? To me, they do. They look like watercolors. And once I added the um, Deco Art Crackle um, Medium on, on top of it, it kind of just brightened the color even more. I love it. I really, really love it. Okay, so, um, let me get my brush. I'm almost going to need a pen. Every 
Relatively dry. Just trying to clear, clean up some of the mess I have here. I think for this image, I'm gonna be using this. I have this from. I cut it from a card, um, and it says, "Your hopes and your dreams are more precious than gold." And I think I'm gonna use this here somewhere. Maybe here. I have to cut it. I don't know why I cut it like this. <laughs> I have to trim it. Just a little bit. And I'm going to grungy it up. I don't have a distress tool, so I'm just going to use my scissors. These are like old uh, rusty scissors. They don't cut that well no more, but they do the trick for this this technique very well. I'm just going to distress the edges. I'm going to tear it up a little bit. Now before I start coloring, I think I'm going to go and add some more flowers myself to the project. And this is again a stamp I got from Sock Crackers. And I love it because they come with this white backing here. And it's just like a clear, um, clear sheet here that she, I guess she laser cuts. Um, so this is the white paper and you can use this for a different project <laughs> which I plan on saving these and using them for something else. Um, and I have here some modeling paste and this is from Liquitex modeling paste. Um, I bought this at Aaron's, um and it's very um, economic, it's like six bucks a jar. And I love it. So you can see I'm almost done with this bottle. Um, and this is going to add texture. So I think I use
Now I'm going to use it over my image and that's just to help it blend in so it doesn't look so much as a um, as something that I stuck on there. It looks like it's a part of the, the image, the canvas. Um, and I think maybe a little one up here. The little one. Oh, I love this song. Now I discovered that molding paste after a while it tends to flake a little bit. So when you're done with your project, it's always a good idea to give it one coat of multimedium or any white glue that you have to protect it and to seal the colors in there and it just makes it last a little bit longer. You protect your art. Also helps it when you like want to dust it off and stuff like that. So that's always good to do. You see how sturdy this paper is? The colors don't leak to the other side. Um, it's wonderful. I love it. I'm glad I, I thought of using it as a multimedia um, canvas. Because I know that book, <laughs> that um, album has like tons of pages. So it's awesome. I love it. Okay. I think that's dry. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to get my. This is just a brush. You can see I give it a lot of use. <laughs> I love it because it's plastic, and if you leave this soaking in water, it won't, you know, mess up your brush. So I love it. Sometimes I don't have time to clean up my brushes and stuff like that right after I finish crafting. So this is awesome. Just going to get some of that yumminess off of this. Start kind of, you know, very loosely just color the, the flowers. And I'm going to be mixing several colors together. So it gives it a more realistic look. And you can see that you don't need a lot of... Um, of your Lindy Stam Gang product to to color with just need a drop or two and it goes a long way so the more you use the darker and richer the color is going to be like you can tell the difference between this one and this one. I'm going to also go ahead and color in some of the flowers here. Some of the roses.
I'm not even gonna rinse my paintbrush off. I'm just gonna wipe it here on my fabric. Go to the Alpine Ice Rose. Kind of randomly. We go to the California Poppy Gold. I want the color to be really dark here. Dab it around. <laughs> this is Helio Trooper, Heliotope Purple Plum. I think I said that right. <laughs> Some of these names, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm totally butchering the name of this awesome product. Kind of blending in the colors. Okay. This one to be really dark. Now it's not soaking like through the paper because of the multimedia layering that I added at the top, which allows the colors, you know, to move around a little bit and blend in a little bit before the color sets which I love. Now we got some tears on my pillow tangerine, which is a must have. Ooh, I love that. Love, love, love the color effect it's giving this. Maybe if I add Do <laughs> you guys can't see. Just heats it. You can also use your gelatos on these, on this part, on this type of a 
mixed media. You can use actual watercolors. You can use a watered down um, acrylic paint. You can use stains, all kinds of ways to color this. You can use pan pastels. Um, different kinds of wonderful mediums that you can use to create the same effect. Just use what you have, which is my goal for this year is to use whatever it is I've been hoarding for the past year, <laughs> which is, trust me guys, it's a lot of stuff that I've been hoarding and it's time to get some stuff out so I can make room and bring some new stuff in. Now, once this is um, really dry, then I'll add my layer of, um, of um, multimedium gel. Oh, it's not going to work. Get some color to her hair. I think that's hair. Her skin. Commercials. Now I use the Alpine Eyes Rose to give her skin some coloring. Kind of you can see. to add some green to the leaves and stuff like that also. I don't think I have that color here with me. I'll have to do it later. I'm loving how resistant the cardstock is. It's wonderful. It's better than um watercolor paper at least for this type of mixed media I'm loving it. it makes it look like an actual fabric canvas I love it As it becomes dry, it, the colors become more vibrant. I love these Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. They are awesome. Um, I want to add some more brown color to to the hair. I'm just using some acrylic paint here, just a little bit. This is from 
the ROM code. This is Expresso um, Delta Creative. This is just regular acrylic paint from Michaels. It's really cheap. Um, so I have tons of different colors that I've been collecting over the years. No, I don't have any greens here. Um, anyhow, probably won't finish this on online. Probably finish it on my workspace at home and put a picture of it on my YouTube. Um, on my Facebook and my blog. My blog, if anybody's interested, it's itzasocks.blogspot.com and you can find me that way also on YouTube and Facebook, Itza Thoughts. You can find me anywhere there. Now I'm just very lightly, gently, um, dabbing on the multimedium because I don't want the colors to run into um, other other parts of the, the image so just very carefully very gently very lightly adding the multimedium and you'll automatically see how it just livens up the the Lindy Stamp Gang sprays makes them brighter, lives lively, makes it very vibrant. You know, I'm blotting after every image that I go over. I'm blotting just to avoid mixing. At this point, I don't want to mix. Um, let these colors mix anymore. Just very gently go over your image. Okay. And when I add the green to it, it's just going to make it pop out even more. She'll have a lot of green on her hair. Oops. Sorry, guys. My camera wire and my... Keep them here. It's lighting. Okay, so I think that's about it with the sprays at this point. 
Um, maybe just Now I'm just going to get some <clears throat> stamps just to give some more texture to the background. I'm going to use this vine and I'm not even going to mount it on a <clears throat> on a acrylic block because I don't have one here with me and it adds just a little more interest texture to your image. So I'm just going to randomly stamp. And this is with the stays on ink. No. My life. This is a VersaFine ink. Sorry. Okay, and it comes with this little charming little bird that has a little crown. I think I want to put him here, sitting on top of a flower. Come on. Perfect. Instead of wiping the ink off, I'll just give my fabric some stamped images. <laughs> okay. With this little, I think it's a fly or a bumblebee, I'm not sure. I love this song. I think this girl has such a beautiful voice.
have a bag here with a bunch of stamps. Um, because I like to travel with my crafts, I have to have a little bit of everything just in case. And if I travel with stamps, I travel with stencils. So this is my just-in-case travel stencils. My husband always wondered why I travel with a big bag. Or more than one bag, I would say. I have all my stuff in there. No more texture. We made some flowers here out of um, dictionary paper that I stamped with Lindy Stamp Gang's stamps. But no, I don't think it like matches. So I'm gonna add more texture with some stamps. Beyond the have some letters here also. get some of that white acrylic paint just a little bit on my finger and put it on the stand See all the layers of texture. Now I know you can't really tell the like the define image here of the um, stencil I use, but I'll, I'll define it with the pen in a second. You see how awesome that looks
this room is the same. Set everything before I add a coat of multimedia. Make sure everything's nice and dry before you add the multimedia over it. And again, you're going to apply it very gently with your finger. to add some crackle paint. Onto the images of the flowers. Just really lightly. And this also serves as a protective layer of your um, colors. And again, this is Deco R One Step Crackle. It's crackle finish. Now, again, with my multimedia, just lightly tap. Tap it over the images I just stamped.
I'll show you guys how awesome the bubbling effect of the crap of paint looks in a second. Just have to be careful not to overheat it. I don't know if the camera captures the texture. You can see the bubbling. Isn't that awesome? All the shimmery of the Lindy Stamp Gang sprays, the different layers of texture. Now you get an, this is just like a regular ordinary pen and you outline the whole image and that gives it the, like the more uh, handmade feel. It doesn't have to be perfect, it can just, and because I put the multimedia on there, the pen easily writes on the surface. You just have to make sure that your your artwork is dry enough to, to go over it with the pen. Possibilities are endless. And this and this, I tell you. And all from the purchase of one stamp, I can alter it and size it to the size that I want to create fabulous art pieces. Just kind of defining the image here a little bit. Ooh, girl, I love me some Adele. Mm -hmm. Probably make this dimensional by adding some rhinestones to the center of these flowers just to give it some more interest.
Now I'm going to do the same thing with the images I did here with the modeling paste. I'm going to go over them with my pen. You can do this with the marker. You can do this with the pen. You can even use uh, do this um, shading in with uh, your your uh, gel. What are they called? With um, with it. What are they called? With your pastels, your gelatos, which I thought I had here with me. Just to shade in the image. And also use your, which I'm gonna use my gelato to go around the edges to give it a dark back uh, border. And you can see here how it just defines the flower, gives it a little more structure. And this is using just a regular everyday pen. And I'm not even, um, like, too worried about doing it perfect. Because life isn't perfect, so I don't think um, art is perfect either. Interpret it to the eye that's looking at it. Probably color the little birdie in a little bit. If you can see how the just by using the the pen it defines um, the image here that I use my st my stencil on with the modeling paste, and because I added the multimedia gel, it gives me that um, ability to go over it with my pen with no problem. I'm not even pressing hard on the pen. It's just gliding. Gliding on the paper. If you want it to look exactly like the stencil, then just put the stencil over the image and trace over it like that. But I'm just freehanding here just so that it matches the image here a little bit better also. One more. Probably be having some more um, unannounced, unscheduled um, broadcastings throughout the week just to see what I can come up with. Try to do something different each time.
Let's see how I just brightened it up, made it look more like a hand drawn image. You see, it just pops out the the image there. Now, with my brush, I'm just going to grab some gelatos. <clears throat> kind of go around the edge to distress it. And the little goes a long way, guys. Just to grunge it up a little bit. Now I will have to go over this <clears throat> gelato um distressing with multimedium again because gelatos are water soluble. So if I spray anything else on this or for some reason it gets wet, the black is just gonna run everywhere. And I really don't want that to happen. It took me a while to to make this and I really want to um, take care of it. <clears throat> well, I think that's about it for now. Um, just have to put some pop dots here to add the same. Or maybe up here. And this is a regular jo jolly pen. Go through the whites of her eye. Okay, guys, I think that's about it. Um, I'll post a picture of the outcome of this, the, f the finished project on my blog and on YouTube and probably on Facebook. So just uh, search for Itza Thoughts and you guys should find me on YouTube and Facebook. Okay guys, well thanks for stopping by. If anybody has any questions, any comments, um, just leave them. And I'll be more than happy to uh, answer any of anybody's questions. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll chat with you guys later. <laughs>